and so now bene the ndc's uh parliamentary candidate for a yes south tongue in the and come on and pay uh nasua lukuto a year a year parliamentary candidate and right the president was in the Volta region na wako eko kosra wabona ano pei meneno eni enkomo max good morning and pom to say uh morning uh and yeah uh tonight uh uh spillage no is still continuing to uh yeah pom yeah kwa president ba hui nanki eni mse mwanyi a little bit of relief it was an insult uh uh an insult to injury oh ba enu ni sa pae na odi ba wafa shi amba and on top of that, no year expectation is of about a three year when he came saying that uh, he, we don't vote for him. And uh, he came only because Ghanaians are shouting and making noise. So Ghanaians expect him to come and into Nawaba. Because And it's an unfortunate statement coming from the president of the land. Uh, some of us should say it's high time we differentiate partisan politics from state activities or by it is a president of the state of Ghana not as a, a flag bearer or anything of political party and the idea is that it is of the active politics and was our platform now on Yano we're expecting to come and commiserate with us rather than coming to tell us that we don't vote for him and that is only there because Ghanaians expect him to be there so so unfortunate and he uh, he's left us more confused than we were before he came. Uh, it, it's not the best of situation we found ourselves in, but it's only taught us to say that we are uh, we have our faith in our own hands. And he we are here. Now nah, yeah, resolving your issues. No, yes, we have actually now here. And it's yes, not, but, it's but, not but, good. Max, the president has given some level of assurance. Uh, a DSA interministerial committee, no, uh, we've seen Nadmo say, one more shot, say, one more distribute some uh, relief items, say, they might, the victims are one more uh, affected. And you are still saying, say, Moon Hu, say, BBS are a Koso. That is all what I'm saying. Yeah, Nadmo, Dibai, and Via, Dibai. It will fully inadequate. Any idea of it means uh, it will not be enough for a number of people who have been displaced. And the, yes, that is uh, anybody who comes comes with something. That is a normal thing. Me as sure as I can force a year back, one week now, it is to give uh, people the ability to come over with something to come and uh, 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 sympathize with the bereaved. And the, our expectation is that when the thing happened, he didn't come immediately. Mm. Uh, the, the worst situation hit us about a week ago. And the, coming after one week, no, uh, sure, uh, he's had a lot of briefing. We have spoken on this issue earlier, I'm sure, between me and you. Yeah. I think last week he had, he had didn't come on. Yes, he had the home the, come this, this issue has been in the media for almost one week and over. And the president will be properly briefed about the situation that is happening on the ground. It took some of us to issue statements and presser uh, to ask whether we are not part of Ghana for him to come. And the old man, oh yes, he said, knowing that we are in a distressed situation, you know, he should come with something. And you have to know about the car, bro. Bro, for the idea, bro, and you bro, for now, you pay attention here. What we are looking for is some relief items for our people. Uh, of course, some other key players were around. John Dramani Mahama came. Uh, as soon as he left, he sent us some issue, uh, some relief items that we have distributed to the people. And see, with all these reports in the air, no, yes, yeah, expectation is uh, President Ninier Kosu. And see, when he's coming, he should come with something. That is what we are expecting. Then the interministerial committee, yes, they are on the ground working. I'm sure that they give him the minute report on the air Kosu and our ground. No? So, uh, taking two helicopters, coming to fly over the area uh, and then speaking and going back what benefit has he brought to us as for whatever they will bring it will surely come because the uh, ministerial committee will be working so but immediately is what we need after a week or two people would have found their own levels and saw themselves about what happens immediately is what is very cru crucial for us so we 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 are, let, we are, let, let me let me ask this for clarity's sake at the end of now we expect a president uh president and to me i'm at that level no 
ama we expectation no NBA pay ye? Uh, first of all, statement now, oh yeah, no, it was off, 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 off. We were not expecting the president of the land to make such a statement on a platform of this nature. Number two, the expectation is that while he was coming, some tra trucks loaded with food items and other things should follow him in the immediate term. As for the interministerial committee, I'm not sure they will be looking at immediate solutions. They will be looking at maybe the mid-term or long-term solutions. Mm. And the, the immediate thing is that uh, whilst he's coming, he should be followed with some tax load of maize, corn, uh, 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 rice, oil, cooking, uh, uh, oil, and other stuff that people need immediately. Because as for the evacuation, we have done that. Yeah, we've got places for the victims to be lodged at. So the immediate need is water, food, and those things. And those places, no, one more bit to me, I hear the name of her. Exactly, exactly. Hmm. And it's a over now, bro, Fukwana, over America, then what is the essence of your coming? So it's not done any good to... Yes, but man, that, that is not the job of the president. Not more is there to do that on behalf of the state and the president as well. Between me and you, we know that more is broke. What they are bringing to the ground is just plastic bulls. Well, what are you going to use the plastic bulls to, 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 to do? So my, my, my point is that you see the MP of the area, Ablakwa Mepe, where the president was. He actually wasn't in my constituency. He was in Ablakwa's constituency. Mm. As of yesterday when he was there, Ablakwa had to take a, 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 a 40 footer a container full of food items and he's distributing people. If an MP is able to do that, then how come a whole state and you are saying that that is not the job of the president? So you are going to your people who are crying and you only go and speak English to them. And so how long will it take the interministerial committee to finish their work? I'm sure it will be months. You know how these things happen. So, so like I keep saying, the immediate solution we need is some food stuff for the people. So in effect, you weren't happy uh, we weren't with the, happy. Pre we with the president's happy. visit. We weren't happy. It was not just his presence we want to see. We want to see some action. We want to see action. Yes, he's come after a lot of pressure from the whole of Ghana. Because it looks like he wasn't interested in coming. You see, when things happen in other countries, the, 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 the speed with which the president treats and consoles with them, we haven't seen that in our situation. And he has just confirmed that yesterday by saying that we don't vote for him. So he's just there because Ghanaians expect him to be there. So it's, it's too unfortunate in a way. Very well. But uh, we can say, or you can confirm to us uh, so far, no, the affected victims, no, Ubiya, uh, no, Enya, Bebiya, or Lodge, and nobody yes. uh, is affected in one way yes, or the yes. other. Yes, yes. There are no casualties by the grace of God, mm. and almost everybody who is affected has a place to lodge immediately. So those issues of accommodation have been sorted down. Uh, the rest uh, is what they should live on for a meantime. Because you see, the point is that their food staffs in their rooms have been taken over by the flood. The mm. farms have been inundated with the floods, and all those things are gone. So those who have uh, cages with fishes stuck in them have all been taken over and pulled through by the flood. The speed of the flood was so high that all these things got destroyed. And so food is the immediate need of the people. And the water because uh, the, 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 the toilets, the, the waste, uh, 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 the boiler, and all those things have all gone into the water. So people can't even drink the water. Uh, we are by the river. Uh, not all places have pipe bomb water. And so, some to re, uh, rely directly on using the raw water from the Volta River. Mm. And with this situation at hand, they can't drink from it. So, they need water to drink, they need food and all that. Like I keep saying, those are immediate needs. As for English, uh, very well. Max, uh, let's leave it here. We'll get back to you. Why? But let's put on record that we are still looking for. Uh, corporate bodies and benevolent society who are ready to help us. Uh, a lot of relief items are needed in this area. So those who are attached to our plight can still come around and help us solve the issue at hand. Very well. Max, thank you very much for your time. Thank you too. Yeah.
and say maxua uh look at the nabinendo at the end common that is the ndc's parliamentary candidate for a year uh south town constituency in the Volta region the constituency is so highly affected by the spillage of the akosumbu dam and uh, anope yenino a 